Good morning, you guys. It's Monday, August 2nd, and right now it's just Barrett and I awake. He just woke up a couple minutes ago. Oakley's still sleeping. And today is going to be a little bit of a busy day. I was able to get up early this morning. I have already cooked two loaves of zucchini bread, and the second batch is in the oven right now. I was able to work out and take care of the animals. Um, today is jujitsu for the kids, which means we're going to try a new crock pot recipe. Tonight is, are you excited for jujitsu? Yeah, he's really excited because Oakley and Barrett both got their geese and their belts. So it's their first class that they get to wear the proper, like, outfit. So they're really excited. And then we're going to try a new crock pot recipe. It's out of the gooseberry patch. It's just a super simple breakfast casserole. Um, but that sounds really good right now. So I'm going to get that in the crock pot. I think, I think it needs to be turned on at 11. I wrote it down just in case because I knew I'd forget. So I'm going to get that put together later. It's just going to be sausage, egg, potato, cheese, that kind of stuff. So, and then when we get home, I'll cut up some fruit. I have strawberries, pears, oranges, apples, and we'll just have fruit in the breakfast casserole. So, um, other than that, my mom is coming today. She's going to come a little after lunchtime and I'm not sure what we'll do. She hasn't been over in a while, so I definitely want to show her the garden. Um, and you know, the kids will probably just want to hang out with her. So that's our plan for today. I am a little bit behind on like regular cleaning just because this weekend was super busy. We went, um, like school shopping for like supplies and new clothes for the kids. And then the next day my grandma watched the kids overnight. And so we had like, um, let's see, like a, I want like a day date. We went out, um, to like this arcade and we went bowling and played games. And then we went out to dinner and then I picked the kids up yesterday and spent some time with my grandma. So it was just super busy and we weren't out at the house a whole lot. Are you being silly? <laughs> we weren't at the house a whole lot. So, I just need to do things like clean the bathroom, make sure the kitchen is clean, just kind of set myself up for a good week as far as cleaning goes because it's going to be kind of a busy week. But yeah, that's all I have to say. Do you have anything to say? No? Are you ready for breakfast? Yeah. Yeah. All right. It's nine o'clock now. The kids are both up. They just finished breakfast. They unloaded the dishwasher for me and then I loaded it back up. So right now I want to take a few minutes to kind of get some things prepped like food wise um, for the next couple days. Um, while I'm in the kitchen, I'm going to brown up the sausage for the casserole today. And then the other thing I'm going to make is the pork for tomorrow's dinner. Tomorrow we're having pork verde enchiladas and I'm going to be making the uh, verde enchilada sauce from scratch. And so that's going to be a little time consuming. So I figured I would just cook the pork today. Um, so I'm going to do that in the instant pot. I'm not going to go step by step because I believe I've made like two videos on how I make like our taco meat. Um, I'll link those below. Um, it's super simple. Um, and then once I'm done in the kitchen, I need to get these kids in the bath so they're nice and clean for class tonight. I was going to read some books to you guys. And we also you know what else we need to do? Uh, showers before. The first? So the pork is in the Instant Pot. I just heard it beep, so it's starting to cook. The sausage is done. It's just cooling on the stovetop. And Oakley asked if we could sit in her room and read some books. So she's going to read Uni Goes to School. She, did you pick this one out? Yeah. Yeah, she picked that one out at the library. And then I picked this one out at the library. I hadn't seen it before. It's called Hello Neighbor. It's the story of Mr. Rogers. Um, and so we're going to read these. Barrett's in the bath. He can probably hear me while I read. And then once we're done, I'm going to get started on some more chores.
Oh yeah, there's a new one in there. Oh, it's big. Yeah. We'll pick that in a little bit, okay? Good spotting. What is it? Oh my goodness, I didn't even see that one. That's a huge <laughs> cucumber. Yeah. We'll pick that one too. Good spotting. You're really good at this. Do you see any more? Yeah, one right there, but it's not ready. A little baby. All right, it's 11 o'clock and I'm going to assemble tonight's dinner. Tonight we are trying a new recipe out of the Gooseberry Patch Slow Cooking Year Round. I'm going to make the Christmas egg brunch. I decided on this because one, we love breakfast for dinner and two, we have a ton of eggs and this calls for a dozen. I did end up adding an extra egg because some of these eggs are a little small. So super simple ingredients. I'm just gonna use some breakfast sausage the eggs, cheese, milk. Um, for my eggs, I'm going to season them with garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper, and then just a bag of shredded hash browns. All right, I'm gonna crack this one first. This is a huge egg. This is a normal size large egg. These normally have two yolks in it, so I'm gonna crack it really quick. Let's see if that's what we have. Yep, two yolks. So to your bowl of cracked eggs, you're going to add your one cup of milk and then your seasonings. You can use whatever seasonings your family likes. I don't know if I said it or not. The recipe calls for dill weed, but I don't have dill weed, so I'm just going to keep it simple. All right, so then you are just going to blend these all up. All right, I got the eggs all scrambled up and now it's time to assemble. You just spray your crock pot says very well. Okay, then you're gonna start with your hash browns. It says to put a third of the hash browns, a third of the meat and a third of the cheese and then layer again. some of the meat. Mm, that was probably like half of it. That's okay. And then cheese. And then repeat. I'm just going to put the rest of the meat and then the last layer will be potato and cheese. This will be perfect because if I'm sure there will be leftovers, this thing is huge. But with the leftovers, we can just eat it like this or heat it up and put it in breakfast burritos. Okay, so then once you've layered it and used all of your ingredients, you're gonna take your eggs and then you're just going to um, pour it over the top layer. And that's it. I'll probably put, oh, you know, I don't have any paprika. I would put paprika. I might do um, just a little bit more salt and pepper. And then you're going to cook this on low for eight to 10 hours. All right, guys, it's been a minute since I checked in. It's now one o'clock. I've taken a shower. I did the kids' nails. I've done a couple loads of laundry. And now we're just waiting for my mom to come. It's one o'clock now. She should be here within like the next 10, 15 minutes. When she gets here, I'm going to ask if she wants to go down to Dollar General. Um, I need some distilled water for our Venus flytrap uh, that the kids named James. He hasn't been watered since we bought him last week. And from what I've been reading, we need to keep the soil very moist and use distilled water. So I'll see if she wants to go down there with me. And I'm sure we'll look around at some other things. Um, and then 
once we get back, we'll probably just hang out with her. It's been a while since she's been over, and then I will check in with you guys when she leaves. Why it's still in there that we gave it? It does have that much love. Oh, it's so fun. It looks like a can of loo. Doesn't it? And <laughs> <laughs> she does have a baby belly. The two dogs fall in love. They never tell it. And they just see each other. All right guys, it's 3.30, my mom just left and we are loading up to go head to Jiu Jitsu. I'll see you guys when we get back and I'll show you that crock pot meal. All right guys, it's seven o'clock and we just made it back home. The kids had a blast in class. The only downside was the AC was not working and it was 90 degrees in town, so it was super hot inside. Um, but we're back home, the kids are letting the dogs out and I'm gonna go check on dinner. It smells really good, so I'm hoping it's good because I am absolutely hungry. All right. Oh yes, that smells really good. It looks really good. For a minute I thought this was unmelted cheese, but then I realized it's the potatoes. So yeah, I'm gonna turn this off. Michael should be off soon, so this will definitely be warm enough. I'm just gonna cut up some fruit really quick and then we're gonna dig in. All right, we all got our plates dipped up. I have mine with Taco Bell hot sauce. We'll see how it is. I don't have high hopes, but we'll see. We just finished with dinner, and I was pretty accurate when I said my hopes were pretty low for it. Um, it was not my favorite. It's probably the worst crock pot meal I've ever made. <laughs> I did not like it. The kids devoured it. They loved it which is weird because Barrett seems to be a little picky. So, um, yeah, they both really liked it. I know that Michael is not going to like it. I did not like it. It was the flavor. It just wasn't super flavorful and everything had the same texture, just mush. So I'll probably try to repurpose it as breakfast burritos in the morning. Um, cause I hate to waste it. You know, that's a lot of ingredients. So Unfortunately, tonight's dinner was a bummer, a bust, and I will not be making that again. All right, guys, Michael just called, and he is on his way home. I told him that the crock pot meal was disgusting, but he said that he'll at least try one bite of it. Um, I do not think he's going to like it. If he likes it, I will give him a 20-minute back massage because I am pretty confident that there's no way he's going to enjoy that. So he's probably just going to have some leftover barbecue chicken that we made the other day. Um, he'll have like barbecue chicken sandwich or barbecue chicken wrap. Um, and then tonight I have some laundry to do. Um, the kids' geese need to be washed after each class and they have to be hung dry. So I just want to make sure they get it done now so I'm not rushed to do it tomorrow in time for Wednesday's class. Um, other than that, we're just going to take it easy and relax. Michael's exhausted. He's worked a 13-hour day and he has to be back early tomorrow. So we're just going to take it easy and relax, put these kids to bed, maybe watch a movie. <clears throat> but I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one I just said it again catch you on the next one I've had to retake this video like three times because I keep saying it wrong I will catch you on the next one <laughs>